Hi Capricorn, this is your reading with me for the 14th to the 20th of March. We're going to have a look and see what is coming through, um, challenges, any kind of guidance, what we see happening, um, and of course how we see developments and things unfolding for you for the week. Now, before we start, I just wanted to mention if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below as I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase any personal services, they are all listed down below as well. There's private paid readings, there's rituals to manifest different areas of your life. There's also the um, healing work, black magic energy removal. There's also intention manifesting items like bracelets and necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, candles, crystals, um, sage bundles, teas, um, which are meditated with and saged, and uh, majority of these items are handmade, obviously apart from the crystals. <laughs> but um, yeah, everything's down below, and there's also the review section at the bottom of my website, which has thousands of five-star reviews for the intention items. So definitely do, you know, check that out if you are interested. All right, so let's have a look and see. Let's have a look first and foremost, Capricorn. What has been your challenge in the recent past? been your challenge in the recent past okay and then we will look at the present and then we'll also look at things that you don't see coming and your near future um, so we'll go along as we as we go along all right a lot of you feel like things are too slow right too slow it's taking way too much time Especially in regards to someone here romantically, you're thinking, where, you know, why is my love life not unfolding like how everybody else's love life unfolds? Why is my love life taking so much time? Why am I still by myself? Why, you know, for those of you dealing with someone, why is this person so slow? Why are they not telling me how they feel? Why are they keeping things inwards? That has been your challenge in the recent past, especially with the Three of Pentacles, the sense of you wanting more, you know, and, and also, I'll, I'll be very honest, this is not only just a sort of love message, but it's also a career message. Some of you genuinely feel like your career is just so slow, you know, you're not advancing at the rate that you would like to, you're not it's just it's just like crickets you know you feel crickets in in these areas of your life and especially with the ace of cups you know that you deserve this golden opportunity and you're just you just feel like you're waiting for it half the time and that it's not progressing in the the level the direction that you need it to go in king of pentacles you know who you are you know that you're solid within yourself you know what you bring to the table and you're wondering why is no one else joining this table hello you know so that's what I see here. This is your challenge um, in the recent uh, past. And in many ways, I think that, you know, you are continuing and you're trying to grow and, and do your best. But let's see how this evolves into the present for this week. Yeah, so some of you feel like, you know, career-wise, you're not advancing as quickly as you would like to, or the opportunities just seem very limited. And for others of you, you're really frustrated that someone that you really like, that you want to move forward with, that you want to progress things with, is just so slow, and then also not exactly telling you how they feel about you. So we have here, in the present, we've got the death card. We've got justice, okay. Now the death card actually represents death and rebirth. So there's a um, there's a rebirth taking place this week where I actually feel like there's going to be a significant opening in terms of your career and your love life where you will actually feel like, okay, we're finally getting somewhere. So there could be um, a new contract, there could be a raise, there could be a boss here that suddenly wants to talk to you about a new opportunity or some kind of new challenge that you could take part in or some kind of collaboration. I also see here as well that in regards to love, there's someone here that really does want to resolve to talk about something. They want to, they're thinking in their mind, maybe I should do something about this now. So then there's that. Okay, there's definitely a resolve here in regards to something that has just felt so stagnant and the stagnant energy, we, we already have picked it up here, especially with the Hermit um, at the beginning. So in this week, yeah, there's someone here that's like not being very open towards you and they're just keeping everything to themselves. They're just not expressing themselves. They they just want to stay in this energy, but they are now realizing, I can't do that. I need to come forward towards you. I need to say something. I need to do something. Now, this then allows you to then know exactly where you stand, which gives you peace of mind. So justice here is the fact that it gives you that emotional balance. It allows you 
to know where you stand emotionally, which actually just makes you feel a little bit better. So there's definitely going to be a message that comes to you from afar, which allows you to emotionally know where you stand, which actually improves your mood for the rest of the week as well. So in regards to, you know, your career and the things that you're doing in your day to day, you just feel a little bit more emotionally, let's say resolved, and you feel a little bit better that, okay, I kind of know where I stand with this person. I kind of know where I stand with my, my career. I, I have, you know, a little bit more stability. Still, you know, with the two of swords, you can feel uncertain because obviously, you know, you may not know everything uh, this week, but there's definitely an opening here in regards to someone wanting to resolve things with you and actually give you what you what, well, what they feel you also deserve, which is a lot more. So then we've got that as well. And I think some of you won't see that coming because you've just felt like, oh, it's just the same thing over and over again. And yeah, it's, it's true. You know, you might be also hearing the same thing over and over again in readings, but I will say, you know, things come together in its own timing. And we do see a bit of progress here this week with certain areas of your life becoming a little bit more balanced and a little bit more resolved. It's just essentially that it can take time, obviously, for certain things to feel resolved, for things to get better to this level. It doesn't always happen straight away. It doesn't always happen the way that we want it to. Two of Pentacles, there you go. There's that stability and balance financially, but also romantically, you're starting to feel like, okay, you know what? <laughs> It's not me, it's not me, and it will come to me. Um, yeah, so that's what we see in the present. We see a lot more stability. Um, scales there, got the balance of the swords there, got the two of pentacles there. There's definitely a rebirth that we see here. And some of you might even feel a little defensive, like, oh, this person's coming towards me now. Okay, uh, like, what do, what do I do with that? You may feel uneasy about that. You may even think to yourself, um, I don't know if I want to really open myself up to this person because what if they, you know, what if they just uh, become very cold again towards me? So there is a bit of defensiveness I pick up on your side, but that's natural and normal because of how you feel, right? So that's another thing to keep in mind. Okay, so your near future and what you don't see coming. Let's have have a look and see what we have there. Near future, what you don't see coming. Okay, so we see romantic progression, which obviously, you know, it's something I did mention, just in case you didn't see it here, okay, in those cards, it is here. Okay, so romantically, someone here wants to come to you, they're going to express themselves to you, they have a lot of physical attraction towards you. In fact, they feel like you are just such a kind and giving person. They really haven't met somebody like you. And I think that the thing here is that I really genuinely do believe that it's this person that we were talking about um, before. And this person really does has, okay, they really have been very, very slow towards you. And I think part of the reason is that they almost couldn't believe that someone like you could do so much for them or make them think in this way because the quality of love in their life has not been so strong. And here you are bringing that strong energy in. Okay, so we've got the five of wands and some of you are gonna be confused. You're gonna be like, it was so slow for such a long period of time. Why are things starting to suddenly sort of spark and pick up a bit? It might confuse you, I'm not gonna lie. But um, you know, take it step by step. That's the guidance. Take every day as a step by step and you will feel so much better in that regard. You will feel much happier in that regard and much more fulfilled also in that regard. It will just help you more. I think that that's obviously very important. Then we've got the Seven of Cups, we've got the Knight of Swords, and we've also got here the Queen of Wands. You are going to feel so much better within yourself. I see so many of you being motivated to, you know, really take care of yourself. I see some self-care and pampering going on here. I also see the Seven of Cups. You will be so much more excited about your future. You will start to feel like, wow, you know what? Things are actually moving forward. And that's what you don't see in the near future is that you're going to feel so much more motivated, so much more rejuvenated, you're going to have more energy to talk to people and not feel like you have to kind of just always hide away. And I think that's really, really quite a strong, quite a strong uh, reading, very strong reading. What you don't see in the near future is that things are really going to come together. That's it. You know, they really are. Um, and, and this week brings you change. It does. It brings you opportunity. It brings you more balance. It brings you the, the real um, transformative energy. It's just that, you know, when you get that transformative energy, you might think to yourself, huh? Like, why, why now? Like, are we sure that this is happening for me now? Like, are we, are we sure? You know, you can feel unsure for sure, <laughs> for sure, um, because of that. But yeah, 
I mean, if you claim this reading, comment down below for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, this is what we have. Now, of course, if this resonated with you or if you claim it, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items which are on my website. And I will see you all very, very soon. All right, take care, everyone. Um, and everything. Oh, I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on there, feel free to do so. The links are all down below. All right, take care. Bye.